What is up, everybody? This is O Artistry here, and welcome back to Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links! Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links! I have no idea who the heck that was. <laughs> Not even gonna front. I'm like, who? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, obviously, here in the UK, we got a bit of a, a storm going on, so that's a bit happy fun time, but there we go. Um, so. Today, what we're going to be looking at is unlocking Rin, because Rin is the next character that we can get, Rin Rin. Um, so how to unlock Rin Rin, we have to complete episode 4. So to get to episode 4, where we're at, basically, we need 99,000, which is literally the next step. Um, as you can see, I'm level 17 with Lulu. Um, basically, I've managed to get a few of the level up rewards, which has been uh, really good. Um, yeah, so we managed to get a few of like the, like, you know, obviously next level we'll get another copy of Cobalt Sparrow, which is really exciting. Um, and we've managed to get a few of the Xyz monsters, which is great. Uh, but basically, I've been using a level 4 um, Green Beast deck, pretty much. So, um, I'll show you what that looks like real quick, and then we'll get into the video. So, the deck that I've been using, uh, pretty much is just a whole lot of high level... Look, um, level 4, like, high attack power kind of monsters, beat sticks, uh, for us to kind of get as much damage in as possible. So it's been great, uh, with the exception of DD Crow, but DD Crow is a hand trap, which has been very useful. Um, and then, yeah, basically, powerful spells and traps, um, just to deal with our opponent, and then a decent selection of just generic rank 4s that we can kind of use, um, which has just been really handy. Uh, so hopefully we will get a, uh, like a pack soon, who knows when we'll get that, but it's great that basically we're able to get on with the event essentially, so hopefully this will be the one, um, and then we'll get the next story in, and yeah! There was a few things that I wanted to talk about during the um, during this event while I've been kind of playing it. And there was one thing that I noticed, well there was two things. First of all, when Shay has an interaction with Lulu, Lulu um, It's nice to meet you. I'll keep working hard to become the duelist I want to be. So, also I think I fixed the it's audio. Uh, the audio was having a bit of a little bit of issues. Um, but I think I've fixed that. Now, what I've noticed is Shay for a sec, is that you, Lulu? Or is that really you, Lulu? Which was quite interesting. But also, a few of her voice lines, um, they bring like, kind of like a, like a, how to, how to word it. It's kind of like the face she kind of makes. Uh, where it looks like she's possessed, which, if they're talking about the memories... Okay, so we took a bit of damage, but basically I'm just gonna wipe her entire board. Uh, duck hole. <laughs> bye bye! And then, yeah, we're just gonna use Toppy Lady, Power of the Guardians, and then we're recording as a uh, from so this will be the first work attack. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can find. Um, is this? Is your most precious No. There we go. So as you can see, she's got kind of the a possessed face uh, going on there, which makes me wonder, in terms of the lore, the story-wise of this game, because it's based off of the memories. Um, I know there's going to be a low attack power monster, so at least we can do a little bit of damage, so that'll be good. Um, there we go, yeah. So, yeah, it makes me wonder, because obviously a lot of people's memories was of Lulu and Rin possessed. Um, so it makes me wonder, like, is that what's going to happen story-wise moving forward? because they've still maybe got the parasite in them, or maybe, you know, because obviously this is claiming this is after the events, but obviously with the memories, we just, we don't know. Like, so it's going to be interesting to find out. 
Since they're dueling, they can't uh, tell me to stop eavesdropping. <laughs> you watch him totally say. What's wrong, Rin? Oh, it's nothing. Rin, I always wanted to ask you, uh, is Yugo always like that? Like what? Whenever he sees me, he yells out, Rin Rin, and tries to hug me. Oh, really? That uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, it goes for me too. And nothing I say or do could stop him. So he's giving out free hugs to everyone. Interesting. So I want to know, are you two going out? <laughs> oh, we never gonna... <laughs> you don't be around the bush, do you? Going out, going out way. I'll explain what she means later, <laughs> Selena. <laughs> nope, never, not at all. You go, ick. Oh, man. Emotional damage. What? Ick. Now that we're finally back together, I thought this was going to be the beginning of... It's because Rin doesn't know about all the awesome stuff I did. Therefore, I gotta work harder than ever so Rin can see my awesomeness. Keep your peepers peel, Rin. <laughs> what is this? What is this conversation? What a dope. Or maybe she knows. It's probably because he's eavesdropping. Um... So I'm guessing we have to beat you. That's 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 probably what it is. That's that's probably where it all this all lies. So now we get to have a look at the Wind Witch deck. Um, I I pretty much not really looked much at this, so that we can kind of get a better strategy going. I I know I've made one or two misplays with it, but it'd be good to kind of look through it together. Here I go. So I have pretty much two of the same monsters. So if all the monsters you control are Wind Witches, you can special summon it. When this card is no more special summons, you can add a Wind Witch monster to deck to hand. Okay, so you may as well summon Glass Bell first, which then allows us to add... So we'll go for this. Um, and then because we control this, you can special summon this from the hand. Uh, so now we've got freeze bells. We've got a tuner and a non-tuner, which allows us to uh, synchro. I believe this one you can augment the levels, so we can become a level four if, it, if you want. But winter bell is the actual boss monster. So there we go. Now we get to see the summoning animation. I've seen this once, which I thought was really cool. Um, so yeah, that's, that's actually really awesome. I like uh, I like that. And then it gains, an, I think, an additional ability. Um, if this is normal, special summoned. The rest of the turn you cast special summon monsters. Oh yeah, except for Wind Witches. And then Glass Bell is... Oh, the same thing. Pretty much you're just locked into Wind Monsters. Uh, but we can activate the effect so we can target... And then just inflict damage. Here I right go! What is it still? It, oh, it's its level times a hundred. It's probably more than that, but Duel Links likes to do stuff like that. During your opponent's main phase, if you control a Wind Witch monster, you can send us an empty or fuel to the graveyard and inflict 250 damage to your opponent. That brings I mean, that's pretty. I draw. Eh. Okay, so we also have Summon Storm for this deck, because they both use Wind monsters. So we can special summon this. So I may as well do that. And then this um, is a tuner if I've seen that right. So we can actually normal summon this um, using its abilities. We don't have tribute. Uh, then we can actually this is a synchro summon. And now we have the 2800. So Diamond Bell. Diamond Bell is really easy to get out. Um, which is really cool. Uh, so now we can. Uh, so let's target this. Look for 150. If we destroy, destroy that, and then we can activate the effect. Uh, so now we can do another 500 damage. I'm not going to destroy a card. But instead, we're just going to battle phase. This will. This is bad. There's nothing you can do with this Because Diamond Battle will just keep blowing stuff up otherwise, which is pretty insane. Um, but yeah, 
that was pretty much how to use Wind Witch. <laughs> um, quick and easy. Um, I definitely say that the Wind Witch strategy is quite strong, so it's going to be cool to kind of learn a lot of it. Which, speaking of, we have now unlocked Rin, so that's fantastic. Um, I hope you didn't wait too long for me, Hugo. I know I was only able to come back because you never gave up on me. Now we can both chase our dream together, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Aww. I might not be able to enter the Friendship Cup anymore, but there are similar tournaments in this world, which will win by defeating the king. Um, that'll be our new dream to keep us going. You with me, Hugo? Uh, be hit with the power of a wicked wintertime blizzard. Synchro Summon. So now we get Winter Bell. So we get to see the animation again, which I think is a really pretty animation. I think the quality in terms of animation is really stepped up, um, which I think is awesome. I want to know how the city has changed, but for now, I'm all about the duel. Ready, set, duel! There we go, so we got Rin, obviously we got her deck, uh, Wind's Deepest Winter. Uh, Winterbell is not included in the default deck. You can add Winterbell to a deck using the skill. So, let's see what Hi, this Lulu, let's brings. Let's have fun. And with that, we finally now have all of the U girls, which is pretty cool. I'm Rin. I use Synchros, just um, like you go. Oh wait, so literally level 3 we get Winterbell straight off the bat, that's pretty insane. So the duelist from the Secret Dimension bears an uncanny resemblance to Zuzu, Rin, and... Uh, oh sorry, Rin and Yugo grew up together in the same orphanage, making them friends for life. The dream was to duel against Jack Atlas in the Friendship Cup. The Duel Academy abducted Rin right in front of Yugo's eyes. Though Yugo traveled uh, to Duel Academy to save her, he was forced to duel her because of a parasite. Rin and Yugo are constantly bicker, but that just proves they're great pals, right? Harry's monster is Wind Witch Winter Bell. So yeah, we get Winter Bell at level 3, which is pretty insane. At level 7, we get Freeze Bell, so that's not too bad. Level 11, we get Diamond Bell. Okay. And then these are going to be pretty much the same cards that we get every single time. So... We get, I believe, three copies of each, actually. So one... Yeah, so that's uh, one playset. Two playsets. Three playsets this time. Interesting. So we don't get... We only get the one copy of the war, uh, the one Lyralisk Exceeds Monster, but we get a full playlist of this deck, which is pretty insane. Um... How many tickets do we get this time? One ticket, two tickets, three tickets, four, four tickets, which I think was maybe the same amount, maybe not. I don't see really any box chips for this character, which is quite interesting actually, because uh, Lulu had um, skill chips, but this character doesn't have any. So not every character is guaranteed to get um, uh, box chips. As you can see here, Lulu actually did get some box chips. So not like, uh, like I mean, at 25 she gets 10, and that's the last time you get the box chips. But yeah, so at, at most you get 20, because it's uh, two fives and one ten. But still. Um, I'll duel my own duel to make my dreams come true. It's, it's definitely different. So. The only thing is, is we get a level 3 non-tuner, and I don't think there's been any Wind Witch support released as far as I know. I think these are the only cards. Um, her deck is pretty much just weird choices. Very weird choices. Um, yeah, but there we go. I mean, they normally do this. They, I don't know why I look every single time thinking, oh, we're going to get maybe a card. Um, we don't We don't get anything. I don't think with Ring you actually get anything. Um, her ace card is Winter Bell. We know that. Um, we know the Lewis Assemble Gale is also... Yeah, funny enough, we actually got, uh, by winning five duels, so maybe tomorrow we'll get, like, some sort of, uh, card sleeves for Rin, because we, we managed to get, um, by playing five duels, we've 
or winning five duels with Lulu with your extra playmat. So, uh, well, card sleeves. So maybe we'll get some additional card sleeves for her as well. But let's just double check. Let's have a quick gander. We'll see if basically she's got any uh, Wind Witch support uh, available. Uh, so this is the last time I checked. So no. So basically, these are the only ones we get from the event as well as uh, level up. So this spell is actually very useless right now. <laughs> if you unlock this, this is very useless because you only get the one freeze bow. And this effect is you target win which you control, special summon one with a different name from your deck in defense mode. So unless you've summoned winter bell or diamond bell so you can special summon out freeze bell, that's the only thing you can do. Oh, and then this is the once per turn during the main phase. You can increase this cut level by one. So there we go. Um, and it makes it that any synchro monster gets the ability that it can't be destroyed by battle because it's using this card, which is pretty awesome. That rain has picked up. Good grief. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much everything so far from the event. I'm just going to double check. I didn't see... Uh, no, so there's no new patch as of yet, so hopefully there'll be one soon, which will have some more Lyralisk as well as Wind Witch support. Um, but yeah, pretty much now what I'm going to be doing is working on uh, both characters. Obviously, we get um, uh, we're going to get a playmat next. That's the next big kind of uh, reward, which is pretty solid. And the next story comes out in two days. So on Saturday, uh, we get the fifth storyline, which is normally uh, what they do for these events is you get the um, down and the bottom left, like a, a, a meter. And normally by then maxing out said meters, you get to duel them at a higher level. So it'd be interesting to see how that works. Maybe the parasite will be involved in the storyline there, or maybe they'll do something different. It, it would definitely be interesting. But anyways, that is going to be the end of this video. So thank you all so much for watching. It's been great covering this event. I've really enjoyed uh, being back and doing covering more Duel Links. Um, and yeah, just really excited to see where the rest of the event goes. Hopefully, yeah, pack will, will come out soon. Maybe a main box. I think uh, let's have a quick double check actually. What was the last box that was released? Was it a main box or a mini box? It looks like it was a mini box. Yeah, so it's going to be a main box next. So that will be really exciting because it means a lot more cards are going to be coming out for it. So yeah, keep your eyes on the horizon because that's going to be coming out. But anyways, please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, party on! Take care guys, it was great to see you and we'll see you again in the next one.